New at five, it's been called creepy, judgmental, even terrifying, and now it is here. The People app is now available on most smartphones, and Denver 7's Kristen Scovier looked into this. Kristen, creators say it's just a way to vet future employees, roommates, and friends. Right, the new app is being described as Yelp for people. It says it's basically a reference check for the people around us, personally, professionally, or romantically. Critics say it's just another way for online bullying to flourish. Do you think of your character as online social currency? The creators of People say they do. You might want to look up that new guy you just met online, or that girl who wants to be your roommate. The world was first introduced to the app last year, and the online backlash was swift. Oh, why? That sounds absolutely awful. With critics comparing it to an online burn book, where you could rate your doctor, teacher, babysitter, or dog walker. So we cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook, and then we wrote comments. On the official People Facebook page, one post reads, When character becomes currency, humanity suffers. We are people, not people. I think there's a difference between a recommendation and giving somebody a numerical value. I don't think it's good to meet someone or have any preconceived notions about them. Now the app is available for download, and changes have been made. There's no more star rating system, and you do need to join the app to receive these recommendations. Still, the app has anti-bullying organizations like Be a Friend, Make a Friend worried. Why are we opening up ourselves to just that emotional sort of, not trauma, but just emotional sort of backlash? Right now, the app is free, but soon a truth license will be added. That will allow users to access every review, even those that are hidden. I did talk to several people around Denver today. Most say they wouldn't even download the app.